Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to Season 5 of the 100 Day Challenge, starring WX78, the robot from space. Alright, so let's pick up where we left off. Uh, so we had just finished the night, we were fighting some more spiders, seeing if we can get any more silk, and we were on the fence about whether or not we were going to destroy this. Uh, we want you off that so we don't spawn any poison spiders. And I think I had finally settled on... We're destroying it. Take it down. I will destroy you and your friend tails too. Anyone who knows Dwayne and Brando. Very uh, good old series of game rapping. So we made our decision and we're going to have to live with it. Uh, the reason I made that is because this will give us enough to make our backpack and umbrella. Just from that four. And that's a pretty good situation to be in. Uh, this is going to give us... This boon is going to be really good. It's going to let us go back home. We're slowly going to let this get to tier 3. When it gets there, we're going to knock it down. Uh, we have another spider web over here that I noticed when I was looking around the map. We did see that. So we can bring that back to our island. That'll give us two. Uh, this one, we kind of want to move farther away. We don't want it near the monkeys, though. So I'm not sure where we're going to put them on our island. It's not actually a great island because of these monkeys. We're going to have to kill those guys off soon. But what we do need to do, uh, most of all, is we got to get back over here and start just killing these guys. Uh, as for more soonish plans, uh, we're not going to bring back the berry bushes. Uh, we will come back here eventually for them, but we want to collect the poop before we get the bushes. That way... If we're ever hungry, we can always come back. These food are going to last us like six days. And we're going to be killing a lot of jellyfish trying to get those uh, floaty boaty knights to spawn. That is a big goal for us. Uh, we're also going to have uh, butterflies at our home base because we are leaving the flowers there as best we can. Uh, you know, maybe we'll catch a few with bug nets once we start getting more stuff actually while I'm here let's get reeds we're gonna need reeds to make a bird cage bird cage is something that we can't make during hurricane season I don't think birds spawn then I'll pack them always always poisoned uh, but basically if we can catch our bird during mild season then we can go ahead and get that up and start making more bacon and eggs we now have this we're gonna need to start cooking and let's just bring back this is enough for a bird cage. Let's bring back more. You know, more than we need. Just be safe. Oh, so you can even see the snake in that one. He went around in there. Uh, there's a little blippy blip. Flup. Fluppy flup. You what, mate? So we're gonna grab a few of these. Hopefully Packham doesn't trigger these guys. Uh, we are completely immune to the poison holes. I'm fairly certain. But I don't feel like testing it. I know we're immune to poison, so I guess we have to be. And, ooh. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, there's two! There's two! Get the armor back on. This guy's wrecking us. He's wrecking us. There we go. We got him. Uh, we took a lot of damage for that. That was really bad. That was really bad. But there were two of these, which is really nice. Oh, uh, we, we messed up there. That was that was poor play. We're going to grab this. We're even uh, flopping around. We are flopping around. Uh, so we're going to get home, and we're going to make some healing salves and heal up. That's going to be our plan. Uh, we do want to head home tonight, so we got to get to the other part of this island, which is no to good. It's pretty far away. We have a boat lantern, though, so we'll be able to get home. Uh, we'll be able to be pretty useful during the night. Uh, we don't necessarily need anything else, so we're just going to head home and start working on these things. We have our bone shards. Uh, we do need more vines, but we have vines at home. We have a lot. No, we don't have a lot of vines. I should bring vines with us. Just prepare. Uh, we will need two vines for our jackets. So we'll go ahead and grab both of these and hop on our boat. And get a, a few more berries, why not? I don't need you at all. There we go. Alright, so we're going to hop on this. Uh, we are low on HP. Uh, we did just fight hounds, so we're safe for a while. Uh, the only thing that could happen that's bad is dun-dun-dun, jinxing ourselves. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. So uh, we will put this on the boat so we don't have to carry it around. It won't turn on. And we're shooting back towards our home base up here. Um, we don't have our suit yet, so we're just going to ignore him. Plus, we want to kill the ones closer to our base. So that way he, we don't get them spawning down here. That would suck. Uh, they spawn at the scene of the crime. 
So wherever you kill the one that spawns them is where they spawn. And then when you kill them again, that's where they're going to spawn next time. So we really want that to be close to our base. And we... The waves are in our favor. That's really good. With our sail too, we're getting some good distance. Uh, we should have enough. We're going to double check. I'm pretty sure we only need four silk for our backpack. And... Ooh... There's a swordfish. We could bring him home with us and make a nice weapon. I think that's what we're going to do. Where is my spear? Come here. We're getting this swordfish. Come with me. Come with me. All right. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, you can just hit my boat a little bit. And we're going to dodge these waves. Come up and grab it. They <laughs> pushed me away. No, get him. Get the fish. There we go. We're going to make a cutlass supreme. Uh, we have the six. We have the gold. So why not? It's right there. Also, that's another one. His HP does add towards the spawning of the floaty boaty knights. So as long as we go home and kill some things near us, that'll be good. Uh, that is a stinky stinkray. Stinkray. Uh, so we don't need them. It'd be okay if they spawn down here. That's fairly close to our base. We just want them in the shallows. That way we don't have to really deal with the waves when we're fighting. Uh, these guys don't really matter to us. They drop meat so we can kill them for free. That actually is a pretty decent advantage of WX, but I don't know how often they respawn, or if they respawn even. Uh, so we're going to go home and make a couple of items. Uh, it's not really a good time to do that, but eh, no time like the present. We do need we do need some wood to survive the night, so let's drop down this, and let's make our axe. I don't think I have one. I probably do. It's really rare to have no axe. Well, that's fine. So we're going to chop this down. Hopefully get no snakes, because we're not really prepared for them. Snakes! No. No. No snakes. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't need you. Just get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hands up, pine cone. Or jungle tree seed, I guess you're called. So we have a lot of food. And, ooh, banana. Uh, you know what? Let's plant it. Let's plant it. Let's be eco-friendly. So it's kind of cool. Jungle trees do not spawn any kind of tree guard. So there's no penalty in digging up a huge amount of them. It's very easy to get a lot of wood in Shipwrecked. Whereas in uh, Queen of Giants, you have to deal with tree guards. And generally fighting tree guards is a good thing. But not always. Not always. Now, we have a little bit of wood to survive the night. We can try to get these guys angry with us. And... That actually might be a really bad idea. I kind of regret doing that already. Uh, because we don't have a lot of HP and I was going to make healing salves. And there's a lot of them. That might be a tier 3. Oh, my spear's gone. Uh-oh. That's bad. Uh-oh. We are... We have messed up. Uh, we'll pick up the machete and use that to fight. It's a lot less efficient. It takes 4 hits to kill them. But, you know, four hits better than nothing. They might kill Packham. Packham is being a good tank for us, though. So that's really good. Four. And, yeah, there we go. We we survived. It was not as terrible of a mistake as we had thought. And Packham's just going to heal up the damage. Uh, we did not want those boards, but that's fine. Put those back on the ground. We didn't get any spider silk. So that's basically why we did that boon. And let's look towards making some cool things. So scroll all the way down. Cutlass Supreme, we need our gold, which is in our backpack up here. Oh, there we go. Grab that. Move back over here. And now we can make it. It's lit up. And scroll all the way down again. Ah, oh, there we go. Cutlass Supreme. Boom. Oh, we can throw this on the ground. That's fine for now. Uh, we want to upgrade our backpack. So let's get our gold. Axe and vines on the ground. And we're going to double check... Uh, piggyback is yeah four of these, and we need six, and then our ooh, where's our umbrella at? Up up up. Uh, two yes, so we have exactly enough. So we're gonna grab these and do, 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 survival. We need our rope too. Oh, we just gotta throw more things on the ground. Of course. There we go. All right, so survival backpack. Piggyback. Boom. Done. Uh, we're going to come over here. Uh, drop this on the ground. Pick up our piggyback, which will give us a lot more space, and we'll go a little bit slower. 
but it's totally worth it. So normal backpack is gonna be, what, four by four? Ours is, what, one, two, three, four, five, six by four? Six by two, I mean, oops. Six by two, 12. So we get those four extra slots down here. Always good. Uh, we're gonna pick these up so we don't lose anything, and also, so we can craft our, let's see, we need this one, and take it off so it's in our inventory. This will then let us craft snakeskin hat, which will immediately go on and take it off. That's going to be part of our sacrifice to staying dry. And while we're here, we're also going to make our umbrella. So there, we get those two extras. So it almost we didn't need to kill that thing. Almost. But we're pretty close. Uh, we do need two more snakeskin to get our, our uh, suit going. Uh, we can pick this up. Uh, fuel reserves are low. Uh, that is fine. We need to work on getting charcoal. Of course, we want these now. Uh, since we're going to be picking those up periodically, we'll hold that. Uh, what are we not going to be picking up periodically? Bone shards and sadly silk. Uh, we do want to make those. So let's take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, drop these on the ground. Make our torch. This is actually gonna take a lot of our grass that we've worked on. We're gonna set this on fire. That should be far enough away. Maybe I should have put it even farther away just to be extra, extra sure. We don't even have the rocks to do this. We're wasting a lot of stuff. We gotta get more rocks, but the rocks are right up there. So I'll go ahead and make a healing salve and use that. Uh, now we need to set some stuff on fire. And where are we going to do this? We don't want to set the whole world on fire. Uh, we can set this area on fire. We're going to lose a few trees and flowers. This one is a little bit more isolated. We'll do this one. We'll get rid of that uh, bamboo. Alright, how far are you going to spread? Pack them, get out of there. Don't die. Pack them! Are you going to spread over here? No, i got to do that manually. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up that ash too. Just because we're going to need more ash eventually. Oh, this will give us one, two, three, four, five. Just slightly not enough. So we gotta set this one on fire. Yup. There we go, manually. Uh, we left our axe on the ground. No! Curses. Ooh, there's more. Pick up that ash. Need more ash. Nice, and free butterflies. Oh, cooked up by that fire. Except, you know, we can't cook butterfly wings. Uh, so that's fine. That's good. That's good, good, good. Here's our axe. We can get those, that'll let us make our crock pot. A crock pot's gonna take a lot of our sticks though, and that's gonna that's gonna be what puts us in a bad position. Uh, we are ready. We are set and ready to go and start digging up twigs and bringing them back. Like we can get our farms going. Uh, we can bring back some grass too. Uh, we don't have any fertilizer though. We have like efficiently eaten everything for uh, a lot of important purposes. Uh, some of it was just healing. We are on tier two, so we can still kill those. Uh, we're gonna start using traps to do this as we get more resources, but we just don't have the resource right now. We need cut stones for the food, uh, three of them. So we gotta go and get those. Now we need a lot of cut stones. Let's go ahead and make our pickaxe. We're low on flint. Not at a really nice safe number, but why did I make the pickaxe? I guess we have these two that have gold in them, so we can mine those. We're going to have to dig up a lot of this, though, and of course, we'll pick the sticks up over here. Pick up six. Uh, more importantly, it will be our shovel, and as I've said in a couple playthroughs, uh, golden shovel seems like the most important tool to me. You really often want a shovel. So that's probably the best golden tool to make even early on when you're still not fully set on gold. Uh, we're hoping for no, no fishers. We don't really care. Like, we don't want them. We just want gold. And it kind of sucks that these don't guarantee gold. Like there's the potential. Like this one did drop one way over here in the forest. Oh my goodness. That thing flew. That thing flew. But uh, yeah. See, if this is a Krisher, it's gonna knock down the saplings, so we're gonna take it down. Like, saplings are too precious for us to risk that. Uh, we do need to eat soon. Uh, just a couple of those. We wanna start making meatballs with these. And uh, we gotta get gears soon, too. There we go, no Krisher. So we, we thought we over uh, overprotected there. But had it been a Krisher, what plant? 
So knock this down. We'll go home. There's a blue gem. Completely unimportant item. Uh, we're not even looking for the gold. We needed the rocks. That's why we came here. There's a crusher. Right, where is our da -da 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 pickaxe? There we go. Okay. So we will knock this down and we will go back to our base to uh, set up for the night and start making more things. We have enough to make what we need. Uh, try to dodge the monkeys so we don't get them in our range. Uh, that's going to be a lot of what our game plan is. Our armor is fairly consistent. They were just straight up attacking him all night. Uh, we can make another spear. That'll help us fight them without wasting our cutlass spring. Because spiders are not really worth a cutlass spring. Uh, we do want to fight though. So let's... Come here. Come here, dude. Whoa. Where are you? Buddy, how far away did you run from me? Seriously? I can't even see him. What a waste of time. I wanted to fight him, and he's just like, nah. I ain't into that. That ain't me, man. Cut stone. Those are in our backpack. There we go. So we're going to make one, two, three. We go in our food. Crock pots are ready. That's going to take a lot of our sticks, though. I'll put that over here. Nice placement. And then we can make the first meatballs of the game. Dun dun. That's a pretty good milestone. It'll give us a tiny bit more HP. Uh, basically the same as if we had cooked these up, but you get more food, so eh, it all works out in the end. Uh, we can also go ahead and make our healing cells that we wanted in survival. There's one, two, and three of those. Uh, we're not going to use them because we're going to heal up with food before our next real fight. Uh, we got like one more day in this playthrough. Oh, there you are. You finally came back. Whoa, come back here. Come back here. We're fighting. Two, three. Gotcha, son. Now bring the horde, bring your friends. Let's do it. How many people do you have? I got, I got them. We got them all. Hey, okay, I did not want to take that hit, but we did. All right, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Bring it on, bring it on. We getting hypey in here. We already ate our meatballs. Wow. Whoa, there's the rain. There's the windy season starting, so we do need to start making chests soon. Oh, that is something we should do. Uh, like right now basically start making our chest and getting our twiggy plants closer like right here that's gonna be our twig farm let's see let's see all right so this can go inside pack him because he's holding the other silk he is our chest right now and let's see we have this just in case we get more snakes i guess we do want snakes to spawn from the screen there's our axe so we want to chop down some trees we need wood we want to do more. This is like our warning. Like we're getting close to the hurricane season. Um, man, I just keep losing all my tools. I wish this, I should get that mod that lets you just sort. There's our eight percent shovel. That's almost done. Shovel does not last as long as you need it to, and it's just a lot of flint that keeps getting popped into it. Where's my axe now? Oh my goodness! I'm losing my mind. Uh, see, now we're starting to get wet. Now it's starting to rain. This is no go. No good. Oh, we also don't have our protection. Ooh, we need to make our home, guys. We completely forgot about that. Alright, so this will slow the rate at which we get wet. Oh, this will get rid of our thing. Oh, do we have... We have some palm leaves here. I th that might be enough to make our home. It's under survival. Up down towards the bottom down here we need four so we can definitely make it on this island and we need to go ahead and do that uh, we will need another shovel though Ugh. oh is it done raining no will this drive me out no okay so we gotta get these trees it's getting windy we're fighting the wind oh uh, we could bring these guys back with us but we'll just leave them uh, we need the Oh my goodness, axe. We just need the palm fronds more than anything else, so we don't care if it's a full-size tree or a baby tree. We'll take any tree that we can get. We need four of these. We gotta make our home. Uh, as you see, we're actually losing more HP. Nope, don't lose the palm fronds. That's what we want. Uh, these trees are more efficient for wood. We mentioned that first episode. And we gotta make sure we get the palm fronds, because the monkey's gonna annoy us here. Ugh. And I don't want to take... Any coconut damage? And he got the coconut! What a jerk! I hate monkeys. Okay. 
Okay, so we... Oh, no, 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 don't get that. Okay. You guys can have the rest of those. That's fine. Uh, coconut, we're just going to plant up. We might need more palm fronds in the future. Uh, now we need to get bamboo. I need you to go away, sir. Oh, my goodness. Just here. Wow, you have picked up a lot of stuff. Can I make you attack the spiders and just die? Here, come attack these spiders and die. Yeah, it's tier three. Yeah, there you go. You got this. You, you can totally get this. You got this, man. You got this. You're the best monkey that's ever monkeyed. <laughs> Take that monkey. Awesome. Now we're starting to take a lot of damage. We can pop this up and dry off next to the fire. Uh, we want to get our fuel in here. This will give us 100% rain protection, but we want to dry off really fast. Because remember, drying damage is higher than normal. Uh, styles will let us mitigate the damage we just took. Eating this will give us a little bit more. It's now done raining. So we can take this off and take these off. Uh, which means we want to put that in our hand. You! Go away! Uh, we were trying to make... Get out of the We've never prototyped boards. Okay, so we got this. Now we can make our chest. Chest beautiful. This will let us dump items that we don't need necessarily now, like cut reeds. But we will need those eventually. For ash. Uh, these we don't need until we get snakes. And what else? What else? Palm fronds. We definitely want those soon because we need to be getting. We need to get our house up. Like that was our warning rain, and we already lost like 50 HP in the warning. That's not good, guys. That's not good. Uh, so we are prepared. We just kind of panicked and forgot we had our umbrella even. Uh, we need to be more uh, determined in where we put our items. We're kind of flopping about. So I think umbrella should always be in the first slot. This one should always be here. And we'll try to get tools towards the left. Tools towards the left seems like a good plan. Uh, torch should... I guess always be the closest, so let's shift everything. Uh, we need four of these. Of course, I can't see. Uh, we'll grab four just in case. Just being extra careful here. Uh, you can always use more bamboo eventually. But it's kind of inefficient for time. Survival, we can make our house with rope. Three ropes. Do we have enough? Uh-oh. <gasps> we No, we have some rope and pack them. We don't have to... We don't have rope and pack them. What? What? Guys, we've used all our rope. Oh my goodness, we're in trouble. So this is how we die. We run out of uh, run out of grass. All right. So we now have our shelter. Shelter is very important for us uh, here. This is where we want it. We want it really close to the fire so we can sit under this and dry out. So this is a really good position. And you know what? While we're thinking about it, make our cut stone science. And we're gonna make a lightning rod. Now, lightning rod kind of sucks because it's not gonna let us get overloaded at our base, but it's also gonna prevent us from, you know, tragedy. Just absolute tragedy. Uh, let's put it, I don't know, here? Here's a nice place. That looks pretty. It's a pretty place. Beautiful place. That's honestly the best place. There couldn't, there could not be a better place than that one. Right there. Uh, let's go ahead and fuel this up. Equip our armor and see if we can bait some spiders into fighting us. Where is this? Come with me. Come with me, sir. Come with me. Three. There we go. Uh, we're going to try to fight these guys as soon as they get here. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Too slow. Too slow. One, two, three. Uh, our armor is gone, so we cannot really afford to take the hits. Uh, that din is at tier 3, so we should try to destroy it. We just don't have what we need to efficiently destroy it, which is what is going to suck. We don't have the rope to make another piece of armor. So we're in a bad position, guys. We're not in a good position. Uh, next episode, we're going to have to go and start picking things up. We can go get rope. We can get more grass up here. That is fine. That's something we can do. But we want to bring more of it back. And I think this is going to be our best bet over here. Uh, over here, we have our berry bushes. But that's not really what we need. Uh, there's also a lot of spiders. If we spend the night, or there's a lot of snakes. If we spend the night, we might have a good roll at getting snakes. But there's also a bunch over here, too, and they're in a smaller cluster. 
it's a tough call. I think we're going to come down here. We can even try to get another pig skin. Because we have plenty of monster meat. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start cooking up. Ooh, not the fresh one. Get this. We're going to cook up a few meatballs, bring them with us, and we're going to head out. Uh, we can pick this up because we don't even have armor right now. So it doesn't matter. Uh, we have a lot of room. And we're not being very efficient with our room. But that's that's okay. It's okay. Because you are you are beautiful, viewer. And that makes it all worth it. Alright, so keep cooking this up. Make a few meatballs go with us. We don't need to eat them right now. We could try to fight you. How many friends you got? You got any friends? You got any friends? You don't have any friends. You're a loner. You're a rebel. Rebels don't need friends. Rebel has friends! No! Oh no, we alternated! Hate when it changes targets. Oh, this guy's fine. He came by himself. You gotta bring a posse if you want to fight with me. Alright, grab these meatballs. Okay. So guys, as always, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to have a conversation, leave me a comment down below. And if you want to continue surviving together, hit that subscribe button and you'll stay up to date every time I release a new video. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Let's go to